The cohesion and energetic spirit of the red team makes me fear for my hegemony over this cruise. <laughs> the red wave is coming. For I know you. the red wave is coming. I am not characterizing you in any particular way. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> in the movie where like the scrappy underdogs have to cobble together some sort of team to win a competition to save the rec center or whatever. And then there's the incredibly smooth, superior, professional team of ringers. That second team is kind of the energy we feel up here. With, with, with just a little bit of Cobra Kai. Just a little bit. I mean, no, and look, you guys are Cobra Kai, is what it's going to And there's too many of you to kick. <laughs> Do you think that's a thing they really chant at karate competitions? <laughs> they will now. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to. Welcome to Joe Cup Cruise versus the Red Team. <laughs> Alright. Alright. No, 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 we love you, you love us, it's all great. Yeah, it's all fine. Would you rather fight a hundred Red Team sized ducks? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, by the way, that's a lot of very small legs to sweep. <laughs> Right there, Drew. Oh! He's usually busy, essentially, turning the giant crank that makes Joko Cruz run. I don't know why we commissioned a physical crank. <laughs> yeah, does that crank do anything? Or no, no, no. Oh, just, oh, you, you, oh, yes. you have to turn. You have to turn it every eight hours or the boat will disappear. Crank. Yeah. yeah. Drew, right. Drew is basically the child uh, in the front of the train. The, yeah, the, the snowpiercer <laughs> The snowpiercer yeah. train, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're all eating. Yeah, yeah. The food has all been butts. <laughs> Sorry. Surprise! Guess what? It's beyond. <laughs> Don't dance. <laughs> beyond me. <maintenance. laughs> uh, amazingly enough, they, they they market tested bugs meat, and it just didn't sell nearly as well. Anyway, to to sum up our introduction, you guys are the bad guys, and you eat bugs. <laughs> Let's do the show. Drunk, bug eating red tea. <laughs> <laughs> At which point I will now say good morning, students! Good morning, Principal Sephora! And it is time for day two announcements. There are very few, but they are important. First and foremost, immediately, well, not immediately following the show, at 10:30. Uh, following this show and every evening at 10.30 in Billboard on Board, that's just outside these doors on Deck 2, uh, they have past appetizers, many appetizers you can't get anywhere else on the ship, including Storm's favorite, the Later Taters. <laughs> because they're the taters that you get later. And rhymes also. Uh, yeah. Crickets and cicadas. The latest cicadas. <laughs> there is, when, you, when you pull the potato out of the ground, you only eat the potato. There is only the legally allowable amount of cicadas <laughs> within any of the food that you are eating. <laughs> <laughs> six percent We mention this because we neglected to mention it previously, and also because uh, there weren't a lot of people there last night, and Storm, with his moral obligation not to waste food, has to finish everything that you all don't. I feel better now for it. <laughs> uh, so, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, while you were announcing uh, Coach Cruz, you had an announcement in the first half? Yes, this is from Tabletop and Jen Ellis, who notes Yay, that... Tabletop team! Yay, yay, Tabletop! Seriously, big ups for them. Uh, on today, they, they really cranked the, the tabletop gear into the highest of gears. That's a very real gear. So, now you can sign up, and well not right now, you'll miss the show, but sign up 
in the game room to play RPGs or board games in tomorrow's game exchange. So we have a whole bunch of folks who have signed up to lead RPGs and lead different games that they really love. So you don't have to know the RPG or the game, but if you're really interested in just playing a fun new game, you can do that by signing up to play RPGs or board games in tomorrow's game exchange. Thank you. Uh, very briefly, um, it is usually fine to record or audio record most performances in Joko Cruz. Uh, we do uh, have an exception for all stand-up performances and podcasts. They ask that you not record or repost any of these uh, events, uh, including tonight's stand-up and podcast performances, which are going to be awesome! Before we get to that, though, we do want to mention one more thing uh, regarding the crew of the New Amsterdam, who are awesome! Representing them here, we have the wake person bringing you drinks all night, not like you need anymore. We have a tech crew uh, working in the booth and backstage, uh, and so, sort of there, sort of on behalf of the rest of the ship's crew. Uh, to, to explain a little history, those of you who may not be familiar, for a couple of months until a few weeks ago, the New Amsterdam, uh, their two engines uh, that drive the, the boat, their these fancy engines they called Azipods. One of the azipods stopped azipoding, <laughs> and they were running with only one for a, a few months. And uh, the ship was half-assed. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, I'm better now. <laughs> Is it me or the Dramamine talking? <laughs> if the joke was bad, it was the Dramamine talking. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that, that affected uh, a lot of people's itineraries over those trips because the ship could not go as far or as fast, uh, and people would get frustrated over that. Can you imagine if you're on a cruise where you missed a port? Well, oh, I could not. So. <laughs> I would be so furious. Inconsolable. <laughs> but uh, the, as it happens, because of the way of things, the crew on the New Amsterdam would bear the brunt of people's frustration Aww. regarding that. Aww. Cruises are like Joe Coke Cruises. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that's it, it's not fair, but it's what it is. And normally, uh, on most normal, or most ordinary cruises, <laughs> most non Joe Coke Cruises, no, normal. Cruises. On retail cruises, on the America Line, uh, at the end, you would be, uh, you'd receive a, a, a survey, a, a satisfaction survey that you would fill out to express your satisfaction or lack thereof. Uh, regarding all different aspects of, of the cruise. Because we are a charter, they do not issue those to us. So you can't express your gratitude that way. So we would ask that if you are receiving exceptional service for some, from someone, let them know. Uh, you know, it, it, it means a lot. It, it means an incredible lot just to have someone say you're doing a good job because unfortunately in the way of the service industry, exactly. have worked in the service industry at some point know that un unfortunately you tend to just hear from the people who are unhappy. Uh, so let's turn that around a little bit. Drew, if you want to... Oh, yes, and I, I did bring, uh, I brought visual aids. Just a moment. Oh boy. Yeah, he pulls those out. Well, he pulls those out. Uh, I think that this is going to work. This is a, I've never seen this move before on stage. Yeah, it's yeah. It's it's Drew brought props. Alright. So... Uh, the thing about Joko Charter compared to the way things normally work on this ship is that for the most part during the year this is a finely oiled machine every week executing a seven day turn that is more or less exactly the same. Everybody here, they work like clockwork, they know how to make it happen. And Joko Cruise arrives with these two giant binders <laughs> at 7 a.m. when the ship pulls into, into port and after it clears customs we come on board and we <laughs> drop those on their desk and we say change everything. <laughs> So basically, like, we don't, not, not to summarize what's in here, we're not going to read through the whole thing. Essentially, these two books say, we're fucking all your shit up. Yeah. <laughs> your schedule's different, your dining's different, you're offering way more meatless options, you can order vegan same day in the dining room, all gender restrooms everywhere, call them sea monkeys, no sir or ma'am, and it, the list goes on and on and on. And these people are consummate professionals. They have executed it all to a T. They care so much about making this a great cruise for you. And truly, like this, these are three, six, and nine month contracts. They are here and they are working their butts off and like really making you happy, making this a good cruise 
is a, a huge reward for them. So please show them your gratitude. There's comment cards down the front desk. Yeah, there are comment cards in each of your rooms as well, I believe. Please feel free to, to fill them out and turn them into the front desk. It really genuinely means a lot, uh, both just personally and also just for yeah. the crew morale. They like and you'll feel them. good about it too. Yeah, yeah. It has been it's been a tough few months for the crew of the New Amsterdam. We are so happy to be here. They have welcomed us. We really urge you to show them your gratitude, and we are also very glad that you were here, Hunt, just as a side note. Thus ended morning announcements. Are you ready to see a show now, Red Team? Well, that is good, because a show we shall bring you. This first performer, uh, we have been a fan of, I know certainly I have been a fan of, I don't want to speak for my friends. No, I don't care for him. Okay. <laughs> Some of us up here have been a fan to varying degrees. It's been a very parsing kind of introduction overall tonight. Uh, I've been a fan of, uh, of him for... Of the X, one has been a fan of <laughs> for some period of time. Webster's Dictionary defines fandom. <laughs> Uh, I've loved him uh, for quite some time. We finally met him in person at this uh, this last year's San Francisco Sketch Fest, and we are thrilled to have him with us tonight. Please welcome to the stage, Mike Kaplan. Thank you, everybody. Round of applause for uh, the matter. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 